So I definitely forgot that it was Friday and that I have Algebra 2 coming in and they were knocking on the door asking to be let in. I thought it was a student asking to come in to ask a question at lunch. My bad, Algebra 2. Anyway, let's finish our Algebra 1 homework video. I left off with multiplying a times 22, give me 22a. Now I was multiplying 61 times 39, and to do that, I was creating this box up here, where I was doing 60 plus 1 to do 61, and 40 minus 1 to do 39, and multiplying them together in this little box over here. Negative 1 times 60 is a negative 60. I want to switch back to green, though. Negative 60. A 40 times 1 is a positive 40, and a negative 1 times a positive 1 is a negative 1. Um, check it out. I've got 24 for the first digits, so I'm going to say over here on the right-hand side is going to be equal to, oh wait, up here is going to be um, plus 24 for the first digit. I've got negative 60 plus 40, which is negative 20. Another negative 1 on the negative 20 is negative 21. Um, I carumba, which means negative 21 from 2400. 2400 minus 21, we've got to borrow. So this is going to turn, whoa, that eraser was too large. The 24 turns into 23. And if I subtract 21, that leaves me with a 79. Oops, there's going to be a 79. That is a giant number. And that's going to be equal to, holy moly, guacamole, that thing being multiplied together. So again, I'm feeling like a sadist today. Let's go ahead and multiply this out by hand. 42 times 39. You want to do it the old-fashioned method? I don't like doing it the old-fashioned method, but I'll do it anyway for you guys. 42 times 39. Let's see. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 9 times 4 is 36. Plus 1 is 37. There's a 0 there. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. Adding those together gives me... Um, what is it going to be? It's 15, but carried, so 16. And then 6 plus 7... Um, that's going to be, I'm putting three in there, so it's three and then eight, it's three, eight. Okay, I hope I did that right, because if not, I'm just going to come back and use a calculator and cheat. <laughs> All right, from here, minus two, three, seven, nine, minus two, three, seven, nine, and there's something that's wrong. <laughs> I, I've made a mistake, because... There's no way that my answer is going to be negative. If I do this number over here, I'm going to get a negative. I'm not going to be able to cancel out a negative with a negative over here. Ah, that's how I get rid of the negative. I have made a mistake. If you pause the video now and find the mistake, you get extra credit. If you want to watch the video and be lazy and not find the extra credit, good for you. Um, there's a negative right there. A negative times a positive is what? A negative. I forgot my negative sign right here. Boink. All right, now I can get rid of the negative. So if I continue on this problem, I've got uh, something gross over there. On the left-hand side, I still have my negative 22a. On my right-hand side over here, what have I got? Well, I'm always going to do big minus small. So essentially, I'm doing 2, 3, 7, 9 minus the small, 1, 6, 3, 8. And I know that I always take the sign of the larger. It's the larger. So my, I know my answer is negative. And I just need to find the answer to this question, which is gross. Let me show you something that is better. If I do something like this, I can add um, 62, add 62. If I add 62, this now turns into a much nicer problem. It's going to be minus 1700. And if I add 62 up here, it's going to turn this into a 24. Um, let's see, the 9 turns into a 1. Carry the 1, hold it on my fingers. And I get a 14. I already carried the 1 over here to make this into a 4 instead of a 3. And I can subtract, making this a 1, 4, and 17 to 24 is a 7. Because 7 plus 7 is 14. Yeah, I think that's right. So 741. I hope this is 741. Negative 741 because I got my negative out front. And we have made a mistake. Again, probably in the subtraction over here don't know what the mistake is exactly. Here's the reason that I know I've made a mistake. I'm about to divide by a 2. If I do a 1 divided by 2, there's no way 1 will ever be divisible by a 2. This is an odd divided by an even. That never works. You can do an even divided by an even. You can't do an odd divided by an even. I'm going to check my work with the calculator. I told you I'd cheat if I started making too many mistakes. All right, where's my, where's my calculator? 
There you are. Let's see. First, I want to check. Did I do 61 times 39? Two, seven, two, three, seven, nine. Hey, check it out. Two, three, seven, nine. Okay, that one was correct. Let's check this bad boy to see if you're you. So this is going to be 1638. Wait, I want to check that. So I want to check what is 42 times 39. 1630. Hey, I got you right. I must have done the subtraction problem wrong then, right? Right? So let's do this subtraction problem right now. So let's do 1639. 1638. Sorry. 1638. Um, minus 2379. What? I haven't made a mistake. Well, can that. Can my answer be divisible by 22? No, it can't. And usually these come out to whole numbers. I try to make them come out to whole numbers. Have I made another mistake in here anywhere? Probably. Let's see if I can find it. I have to go through this whole problem again. Let me just check the answer. It isn't a weird decimal. Yeah, number eight is 19. Oh boy. There's so much extra credit that I can give out in this video. I've made multiple mistakes so far. Find my mistake before I do. You can leave this plane full-time to race Mr. Sindel. Or maybe you already found it. I'm going to reset the entire problem. So... I have A, let's multiply by 22, A times 22. I have B times 61, B times 61. All divided by the quantity A and B together, A plus B, and that combines to make 42% peanuts. The second equation was adding them together to get 39, adding them together to get 39. Everything seems good so far. We subtracted A in both sides, giving us B is equal to 39 minus A. Everything looks good so far. 39 minus A got plugged in for B. So B turned into 39 minus A. And then I distributed the 61, 61 times 39. We already checked the math there. Um, oh, yeah, I see the mistake. I just caught it. Time, did you catch my mistake already? Where's the second multi where's the second distribution, Mr. Sindel? You totally forgot to do that. Which means I didn't make, I don't have to make too many changes. What I'm gonna do over here is, you guys need to go away. I need some space. I need to move you out over here. And what I need to do is erase this. That's not going to happen. Oh, wait. I do want to leave you first. Um, I need to do what's 61 times negative A. I didn't do that. That's going to be negative 61A. Whew. So that's going to leave me with a negative 61A down here. And I can continue the problem. I only made that mistake at the very end, which is better than the very beginning because I don't have to redo things. All right. And I can go ahead and say... You and you are both the same signs. I'm going to add you. So that's going to be 83. Gross, but okay. 83A. Take the sign larger. Make this negative 83A. And that's still equal to negative 741. Running out of room. So I'm going to move up here to the top right and do a little squiggle so I show the teacher where I'm working with. I have negative 83A is equal to negative 741. I use a calculator to see if I can find my mistake, but I didn't really need it. So I'm going to continue on without a calculator because I'm making my life difficult and see what I can get. Well, in general, this is about 80 and that's about 700. 8 times what is about 70? Oh, 8 times 8 is 64. That's kind of close. 8 times 9 is 72. I'm going to guess it's between, less. it's probably 9. I'm going to guess 9. 9 times 3 is 21. Any in 1, ha, <laughs> ha, it's 9. I can just guarantee it. Just to check my work. Let's see. 83 times 9. I'm hoping the answer here is 741. Let's check. 9 times 3. Oh, it's 27. Okay, that's not going to work. I don't know why I said it was going to be 9. Uh-oh. Did I make another boo-boo, another mistake. 9 times 3 is 27. How am I going to get a 1 if it ends in 7, though? If I change this into an 8, 8 will give me um, 8 times 3 is 24. That'll end in a 4. That's not good. Hmm. Have I made another mistake? 23, 83? No, I'm not seeing it. Hmm. I... Could it be a seven? Oh, maybe it's a seven. Here, let's try a seven, see what happens. That's way too low though, isn't it? Maybe it's not too low. Okay, let's let's try it. Because the reason that I think it's a seven, three times seven is 21. 21 ends in a one, and this ends in a one. That's our likely culprit. All right, let's try you. So seven times three is 21, carry the two. And eight times seven is 56, 57, 58. This is 
58. Ay, caramba. That wasn't even close. All right. Cheating again. Fine. I'm going to use a calculator. I just want to show you guys that I try not to use a calculator. I try to make myself smarter. Um, instead of dividing by 22, I'm going to divide by negative, which is going to be positive, and I get 83. God darn it. All right. What did I do wrong? I hate making so many mistakes in one single video, but I am showing you. I am human too. I make lots of mistakes. It's funny that I had like half a problem left and I'm making this like a 20 minute video. Where did I make a mistake? So let me see here. I have, oh, I see it. Oh my God. Did you, <laughs> you're probably already screaming. Mr. Snell, you made your third mistake. Did you know that positive 61 times negative A is negative 61A? Good. Did you know that a positive times a positive is a positive? Oh, my goodness. So you guys need to turn into a positive, which means I don't have an 83A here. I have opposite signs. Um, if they're opposite signs, then I need to subtract. 61 minus 22 is 40, no, is it 39? 39, I think it's 39. 39a let me just double check that 39 plus 22 is yeah, 61 okay Whew. now i'm doing this problem up here i'm gonna do a positive third or sorry this is a negative 39 so i have a negative 39 up here negative 39 all right so let's go ahead and guesstimate this one again so i'm gonna do something times something to get 741 well if I multiply this thing by 10, that's going to get 390. It's close to 400. I need another 300-ish. I'm going to guess... Okay, let's just figure out the last digit. It's going to be like... I know that my answer is somewhere between 10 and 20. Because if I do 20, 10 will be 390. 20 will be um, double that. It's going to be about 800-ish. I know I'm somewhere between 390 and 800. And I know I'm closer to the bound of 800, so I'm going to be closer to the bound of 20. What I need to do is going to be something teen, right? So what's the number that would make this end in 1? If I multiply by a 9, 9 times 9 is 81. My, my money's on 9. Uh, 8 times 9 is 72, ends in a 2. Uh, 7 times 9 is 63. I'm pretty sure the answer is 9. I'm going to go ahead and just... Say A is 9. Let's see if that's right. Okay, I'm going to check my work. What I'm hoping here is 39 times 9, and I'll get 741. Let's see if that's correct. So 9 times 9 is 81. Eight. 3 times 9 is 27. So 27 plus 8 is... Um, wait a sec. Is that right? 9 times 3 is... Oh, 19. I'm sorry. Because um, I thought that this was a 19. I knew it was closer to 20, right? There we go. I was wondering what was going on. 9 times 3 is 27, plus the 8 is 35. There's a 0 here, a 9 here, a 3 here. Let's see, I get a 1 here. Yay. I get a 4 here. Yes. Carry the 1. 3 plus 3, 6. And carry the 7. 741. Let's go. All right, so here, here's how I got this. This came down here. I divided both sides by negative 39, divided by negative 39. And a negative divided by a negative is indeed a positive. And I literally could have just punched this into the calculator and made my life way easier. But I chose to take the harder path. I wanted to learn something. I got, wait, don't want to box 19. I needed to interpret the question. How much of each do I need to use? Well, A needs that many kilograms because it's an amount, right? So I know that we need um, 19 kilograms of A and some kilograms of B. Well, how do I figure out B? Here's a trick. I know this A is this A. A is 19. So 19 plus what is 39? Well, 20 plus 19 is 39. So this must be 20 kilograms of brand B. Let's please cross. If I made another mistake, I'm going to be very upset. 19 kilograms of A, 20 kilograms of B. 19 kilograms of A, 20 kilograms of B. Let's go. Ooh, all right, that one's done. Let's highlight this one down here. It was painful for me, probably even more painful for you. But we finally got there in the end, and we only use a calculator to check our work at every step of the way. 
Thanks for watching, Mr. Snell. Be a human and make lots of mistakes. You probably got a lot of extra credit from this video. Make sure you're logging it with the date in your extra credit tracker, and Mr. Snell will sign you off. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.